Red cake in front of me is a gear used in a large transmission. Two workers are using a crane to take it out of the furnace and then put it into the quenching station for quenching. It is 3 meters in diameter and weighs more than 10 tons. Look at this red cake. The big cake is so tempting that you can't help but want to take a bite. Hurry up and love your good brother, come over and try it. After a week of processing in this factory, it turned from a pile of scrap metal into a temporary piece worth hundreds of thousands. Inspection, the raw materials used in this factory are these recycled scrap iron. The staff use electromagnets to pick up the broken raw materials, and then put them into the scrap iron fence through its heavy machine. This kind of electromagnet can pick up five pieces at a time. Tons of raw materials, when the scrap iron fence that can hold 60 tons is full, they will be sent by its heavy machinery to the next workshop, which is the furnace used to melt steel. The staff controls the scrap iron fence and puts all the scrap iron into the financial furnace. When the scrap iron is melted in the furnace, a large amount of smoke will be generated. At this time, the ventilation system above will immediately start to extract all the smoke. At this high temperature, rest augmentation it only takes one hour to melt 60 minutes of scrap iron. The staff is controlling the machine to cover the molten iron with a lid that melts into it. During this period, the staff will extract the appearance of the steel and send it to the laboratory to check its chemical composition. Then, they will use an ultrasonic oxygen gun to pump high purity oxygen into the molten iron to reduce the carbon content in the molten iron. They will try to lower the molten iron as much as possible. The content of hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur is also the key to making high quality steel. After all the scrap iron is melted, the staff will pour the molten iron into the molten iron ladle below, and then there will be a crane capable of lifting 180 tons. The ladles of molten iron are lifted, and they add the metal and carbon inside to bring the molten iron up to the required standards. After the workers pull the electrodes out of the furnace, the melted steel from the four nozzles of the distributor will flow into the unlicensed, and then cool for several hours to allow the liquid to gradually solidify into a solid. They will then use natural gas to cut it into the required size and use it. Then, these steel batches are placed at the pressure-breaking airport. Thousands of tons of pressure will shape these steel batches into specific shapes. At this time, due to the high temperature of the steel ladder, iron oxide will be formed on the surface, so the factory is restored. After the partial pressure is completed, the steel batch will be heated again. The actual fine structure will become stable in one to two days. Finally, the rust produced during the heating process will be removed on a lathe or washing machine. The forging just now will be completed every year in this factory. It can produce 400,000 tons of steel. The output value is 20 yuan. These products will be sent to various factories for processing into various items needed for people's daily life.